good morning vlog. Moonies, come say good morning. Come here. Say good morning. Moonies, look. <gasps> say good morning. Oh, thank you so much. I look so tired, but today is Sunday. And Sunday means we're going to the farmer's market. I need absolutely nothing, but I do want a loaf of sour bread. I do want a loaf of sourdough bread. Condensation? Yeah, the condensation, it's nice. Two hours later. Okay, so I just got back from the farmer's market. I know I said I only needed sourdough bread, but this is what we have. I need absolutely nothing, but the guy was so sweet. He gave us, what is this? Focaccia. Honestly, so fucking good. Wow. Winnie's like scared of me because I was using the bug zapper and she gets terrified of it. We also had to pick up oh, some strawberries. We did not need this many, but after I tasted them a second ago, which I should have done on camera, but I couldn't wait. I realized, I'm like, oh wait, it's like almost Valentine's Day. That's why like so many people had crazy big, great looking strawberries. But then we went to Trader Joe's and I was like, oh my God, I hope they have like shortcakes. We make it with little strawberry shortcakes, but they didn't have any like Shortbread, shortcakes, whatever they're called. So I got these little Madelines. I feel like it could be like kind of a vibe. We also made another boyfriend that gave us <laughs> some clementines, tangerines, because Brittany bought some passion fruit from him and he was like, oh yeah, take some like little clementines. So I just love the farmer's market because they always give you like free stuff. How to get some heart pasta. We're definitely gonna make the Justin Bieber slash Gigi Hadid pasta with this. It's always for good measure, chocolate chip cookies. I heard grapefruit was good for digestion. I'm really scared about these, but I'm gonna eat them. This yogurt is literally the best yogurt that you can buy from Trader Joe's. It's vanilla bean. So this, with the Madelines, with the strawberries, that looks so good. Oh my God, and then in the Gigi Hadid pasta, we're gonna add some of the chicken sausage. And then we just got a shit ton of flowers for the house. And then my room has literally no window, so I'm buying plants to hopefully give me some oxygen in there. Also some little sweet basil for the pasta, these, which growing up, like this literally reminds me of when I was like a little kid at people's houses, they would have these in their bouquets and I could always just like not stop touching them. They're so nice. This is when I knew I needed to grab them. Trader Joe's has a little bit mini banana bouquet. Are you kidding? So we haven't seen them in like, what, six months? So we got one. It's just the cutest little thing ever. It also comes with one of those sponges that you would like scrub your feet with. Like a loofah type thing? I, am I dumb? Like do these grow? Are they in the sea? How is, why is it in the bouquet? Let me know in the comments. It's an edible and useful bouquet. Oh, I was like, you can eat the sponge? I was so confused for a second. Oh my God. And then also last, but certainly not the least, most important thing for me from Trader Joe's. The coconut smoothies, so bomb. I don't know why. I like this like almost more than ice cream. Literally my favorite treat. And then Brittany's gonna be growing some heroin. They had heroin growers at Trader Joe's. It's a poppy plant. So we're gonna infect it. Okay guys, so I just saw that like storing strawberries in a jar like this makes them last like way longer. So I did that, not with water <laughs> because they will absorb it. But I still have <laughs> this many. So I guess, you know, paying $14 for strawberries. For strawberries. I'm eating that one. Wasn't a bad idea. <clears throat> I can't stop eating this, it's so good. Okay, seven hours later, I made all the bou bouquets, bouquets, whatever. Okay, so here we have the banana bouquet. Looks so cute, right? The roses are super weak. Um, also have them in mason jars, one for my room, one for Brittany's room. Definitely need to cut them down so they look like normal, because like, what? <laughs> we have Miss Hydrangeas over here. So gorgeous, stunning. And then we have the fresh basil and mint in like little cups, soaking in water. And the strawberries are out here just drying because I had to give them like a little vinegar bath. So, yeah. Okay, hi, future Ashley here to pop in to talk about today's sponsor, which is Ritual. I have been wanting to work with them for so long because I had seen like a lot of like other like health and fitness YouTubers talk about these and I tried them and I was like, wait, these are so amazing. So I reached out to them. I was like, okay, we need to partner because I love your vitamins. And if you guys know me, I have always been a vitamin girl. And like the thing that I like the most about these is like obviously like how it makes me feel, but also just the fact that you only have to take two vitamins because it's literally like jam packed with so many different things. It literally has like nine different high quality vitamins from like D3, omegas, like 
things that are like hard to get in your everyday diet especially if you're like me and you like sometimes forget to make yourself food you know <laughs> also like one of the best things and i was like so happy when i tried them also like literally just opening up the bottle you can smell like the fresh peppermint scent and like the one thing about vitamins especially when you're taking like a lot of them like a lot of them together you just get like that vitamin taste on your mouth these literally taste like just peppermint freshness if you're one of those people that are blessed to be able to take vitamins with no water then you'll love these because literally it's just like taking a mint literally um yeah i can't do that i haven't taken mine today yet so i'm paying them now and it's been like five hours since i ate but these are like literally gentle enough on your stomach to where you don't actually have to like eat them with food also literally anyone can take these they're vegan friendly non-gmos gluten-free allergen free and literally contain no sugar so they have men's they have women's i obviously have the women's i think they have like prenatal too i just really love me a good multivitamin and this has been my go-to for the past like two months i'm just now double checking they literally have men's multivitamins prenatal postnatal kids teen vitamins and essential protein i'm like you already know i'm hopping up on that one but yeah i definitely I think you guys should check these out i am so obsessed you're gonna be obsessed so if you guys want to get these vitamins ritual is giving you guys 20 percent off of your first month if you guys use my code which i'll put on the screen right here and also i will link it down below in the description obviously as always literally the only vitamin you have to take in a day delivered to your door why not but yeah i'm sure you guys are literally gonna hear me talk about these so much more in my other what i eat in a day videos so yeah i'll keep you guys updated thank you ritual for sponsoring this video i'm so happy please send me more either way i'm gonna get more i'm either gonna buy it or or are you gonna send it to me? But I love you guys. Um, let's get right back on into the video. Guess what time it is? Green juice time. I have no idea where I'm gonna put all this juice because my jar is broke and I just used my last jar for the strawberries. Wish me luck. Celery juice haul. Oh, so gaff. Pre cut, pre washed. Celery sticks makes life so much easier. Like, don't even bother getting the celery stalks and then trying to wash those, cut those. Oh my god, no. Then we have. A whole bunch of oh my god um lemons and apples apples for the sweetness i usually like getting the granny smiths like the green ones but costco doesn't sell like a big pack of green ones so i got the red ones today to make life easier also we have just power greens baby chard really good for digestion i hear baby spinach because duh and baby kale because obviously also duh once again i'm taking the easy way out a little bit i got organic ginger juice from whole foods i think I just can't, can't be bothered at all to do the whole ginger thing, peeling them. We'll see how this turns out. If I don't like it, then I'll switch back, but. Kind of fun. It got a little frozen in the fridge though. Mint, so good. Just gonna throw some of these leaves in there, juice them. And last but not least, some spirulina. I'm gonna start chopping up the celery into like little inches because it makes it easier for this bad bitch right here. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this juicer. This is the only juicer I've literally ever used because it's like so, easy to clean. Okay, now that we're like half full, a little bit more than half full, I'm going to blend some of the spirulina in there with the big guns. One of these guys. You could whisk it in, but I'm just gonna put a good amount in there. Maybe like two. Two shots of vodka. Might be too much, but I need to use up this spirulina, and this is pretty much the only time I use it. Let's ride. She feeling up. Okay, that looks good. I don't know how much of this ginger juice I should use, because I always just juice the ginger until I feel like it's right. It's also still frozen. Oh, hell no. This is the only, 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 only time I need a boyfriend. Well, you know, pretty much. Ow! It's just ripping my skin off, that's the thing. My skin is so thin. Oh, thank God. All is well. In hell. Okay, let's pour it in here. That is so fucking much. That is eight ounces. How strong do you think this is? I shouldn't do that. I'll put it on a spoon. My hands are so shaky. <sighs> That'll clear you out for sure. <laughs> That's gross. Okay, finally. Oh, 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 God, oh, God, oh, God. Here's the last one. Wow, that, 
like really worked out perfectly. I think I used like four apples, four lemons, three packs of celery and half of that like power greens mix. And then I'm just gonna leave some little mint leaves in there. To hang around and vibe. Wow, stunning. Okay, taste test. So fucking good. Honestly, I put the perfect amount of ginger, I think. It's just like a little tingle in the throat. Let me know if you make this. You should try it. It's bomb. I'll see you later. Balance. Leftover pizza. Green juice. My room's a mess. That's why we're this zoomed in. Yeah, my hair's a little different. So what? It's a couple hours later. As far as you're concerned. Let me just... Hold on. Oh, look at the phone, baby. I know you're home, baby. Okay, hold on. I literally have to hold the phone, not the phone. I literally have to hold my camera like this because my room's that messy. But I just got back from, you know what? I just got back from eating my pizza and my green juice. Don't worry about me, okay? I hope you guys didn't just see my fucking dream board because that would be so embarrassing for me. Okay, I'm going upstairs. Okay, hi. So now we're upstairs um, where I can talk without there being that much shit behind me. We are in my kitchen once again. Hello. Can we just first talk about the best thing that I literally have ever discovered, which is skims bodysuits? I usually don't wear bodysuits just because, I don't know, I feel like they're like not my, they're like not my vibe. Ah, oh, but like, oh my God, after having like a skims bralette, I bought like four more. And when I was buying more of them, I saw the bodysuit, I felt the bodysuit and I was like, I just know it's gonna feel like the bralette that feels like butter. Also, she's like, this is like not a YouTube thing, but like, I'm like, is this appropriate for YouTube? You know, she's like thongish. She's not too diapery like most bodysuits. It's just like literally the best thing ever. I just keep like wearing it, washing it, wearing it, washing it. Like this can't not be worn for like longer than two days because it's just so nice. And like the reflective of it all, I'm like, hello. Also my face wasn't in that, but like, Hello. But anyways, I am gonna show you one of my favorite little depression meals. <laughs> you know, that like keeps you fed properly, like good macros when you have no brain cells. It's like a good like depression slash ADHD meal because you don't really have to think at all. You just throw some stuff in the air fryer and then you're fed. Wink if you need help. Anyways, so. <laughs> The ingredients. First ingredient is a big bag of meatballs. Italian style beef meatballs. What are the macros? Let's see, 12 grams of protein, five meatballs. So I'm gonna eat seven. Oh my God, the fly is coming. Winnie hates when I use the zapper. I think Winnie has like a sixth sense and she like hears the flies dying. I know, I'm sorry, I gotta kill his ass. He's huge. He's huge. This is a big bitch fly. Anyways, so yeah, ingredients are Meatballs. I get this big ass bag from Costco because it just comes with so many and they're so good. Meatballs! Then we need some marinara. This is like the spicy marinara, the, the Rayo's, Abby Rayo's. Arabiata. Ar, 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 ar. Are y'all ready, kids? Oh my god. Am I okay? Absolutely fucking not. Anyways, um, yeah, this is the spicy marinara. And then I kind of just use like a bag of like any frozen vegetable. I ate like the whole bag of like, I had like mixed like cauliflower and broccoli and like that was hella good, but I ate it all. So now I'm just eating broccoli, which is fine. I love broccoli, but like boring, you know, but whatever, it's fine. Last but not least, we have a sourdough loaf from the farmer's market. This one is garlic flavor, which is so, so, so good. Also, hi, Brittany, I'm eating your bread. Yes, I will get some tomorrow. But yeah, so we're gonna do meatballs in sauce with a side of veggies and a little piece of garlic toast. So good, okay. And also so fucking easy. I mean, yeah, we need like what, butter, a piece of garlic and cheese. First things first. Update, it's been seven seconds and I just broke a glass. Bread. Butter. I only use Kerrygold. Garlic. Minced. Okay, so now for seasonings, my grandma uses the good old garlic salt, the Lowry's garlic salt. But since we're putting some Parmesan cheese on there, I feel like we don't need the salt. So I'm gonna do basically like the same thing. Garlic powder with parsley. Pepper. Parmesan. Obviously shredded would be better, but I don't have shredded. Now set this aside. Ew. Okay, so for the meatballs, we have plate. You super don't need the, the plate at all because you're gonna put the aluminum foil 
into the air fryer anyways, but you know, whatever. Meatballs. Then seriously, I'm not kidding. Oh my God, oh my God. Ta-da! Garlic salt, this is where we use the garlic salt. Oh, that was too much, okay, perfect. Now I'm literally gonna turn the air fryer on like 380 and put it in for like 12 minutes, okay? Last but not least, the sauce. Bowl, sauce. Oh, way too much sauce in bowl. Put this bitch in the microwave for two minutes. Twelve minutes. So once this is at like two minutes, then I'll put the bread in the oven, on broil, on low, for two minutes, and then also put the sauce in the microwave for two minutes. And then you have food. Okay, 12 minutes later, literally, could have done this better. So aesthetic, ew. <laughs> Look at that garlic bread. And then the sauce. This is my little 12 minute depression meal that's delicious. I love it. Bam, 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 bam. Should we do a move box? Move, what? Okay, so, oh my goodness. We have our broccoli, most importantly our meatballs. I would literally cut them in half and just let them vibe in the spicy marinara sauce. And if you don't like this meal, I don't like you. It's so good. Fast, so fast. This is perfect for like those days when you're just like so busy, like out of the house, running around, no time to like literally do anything and then you come home and you're like dead. That happens to me most days. So this like meal has literally saved my life so many times. These two meatballs are for the doggies. And if they're good and they're not begging, I give them to them. And right now they're actually not begging, which is insane. The giant fly just flew past me. I'm gonna kill him! You guys, can I be real? <sighs> I've been gone for some time. I've been vlogging. Shout out to Sammy Smith for editing 99% of this video. The good portion. Thank you, Sammy. I've just been so busy with my birthday, which was at Coachella, which was an interesting experience to say the least. So day one, I was like at the VIP bar, you know, as we do. And I'm like trying to text everyone and tell them like I'm at the VIP bar. There's no fucking service, obviously. There's no service literally like at our house a couple miles away. Um, there's literally no service literally in Palm Springs during Coachella weekend because there's just so many people. So I'm at the VIP bar and James comes up to me, James Charles comes up to me and I see that he's on Wi-Fi. I was like, where the fuck did you get Wi-Fi? And he's like, there's just Wi-Fi. And like my dumb ass didn't even like think to connect. I was like, oh, James probably just like knows someone that gave him a password. No, you literally just go to Wi-Fi and click on Coachella and like you're in. So day two rolls around and I try to get on the Wi-Fi and it's that easy. And I was like, are you fucking kidding? It was this easy the whole time. I went the whole first day, even after like James showed me that he just had Wi-Fi and he's like, yeah, I just like connected. I like didn't connect my phone because I was like probably just drunk and stupid. Day two, I get on the Wi-Fi, thank God. But no one else was on the Wi-Fi and I couldn't didn't tell them because they weren't getting my texts. And I think day two was my birthday. Oh, give you on. I, I left, I think, was it just me and, I think just me and Lila like pretty much like left before everyone else to get to give you on. Oh wait, no. I think me, I think me, Lila, Mario, and Antonio like literally just like left as fast as possible so we could make it to give you on. Made it to give you on. He was insane, like so good live, incredible. He literally like sang to me multiple times. Ah, I can't get over it. Love him, literally love him so much. Give you on was cool. Billy, it was cool. Oh my God, I saw Phineas. Mm. You guys, Phineas had a tour like last year in like August, September. And I bought tickets. If you don't know Phineas, it's Billie Eilish's brother that I fucking love so much. Like I probably listen to him more than I listen to her. You know, when her albums come out, I just, that's all I'm listening to. And then I'll just always go back to like listening to Phineas. If you guys have listened to my playlist, I can link it below. I have like a little Spotify playlist that you guys can like listen to. It's called Simply because it's like very simpy for sure. Very much like single sad girl. Vibes. But also some like just chill. I don't know. I love the playlist anyways But it's mostly Billie Eilish and Phineas and then like other artists that I like or just songs in general or just songs that like bring my mood back up But yeah, I can link that below for you guys. Um, but yeah, so Phineas had a tour stop in LA last year and I bought tickets for it immediately put it on my calendar bought a whiteboard calendar and that was the only thing I had written on it because it was that important I don't know if I had it in my I think I did have it in my phone calendar so we had a show Wednesday and Thursday and I was like okay I bought tickets on the Thursday um <laughs> so then Thursday rolls around and my friend's like oh my god wait Phineas like we're going tonight right and I was like oh my god yeah and I like go to like click on the tickets and I bought the Wednesday I bought it for Wednesday and you know I probably could have still made it to the Thursday but I didn't really until like an hour before the concert anyways. So then I was just like, my day is ruined. I think I might've been sold out. I don't remember honestly, but 
I didn't end up going and it's been eating me alive ever since because I literally was listening to him like every single day. Like his album dropped like I think a couple weeks before his tour and I like knew every single word of every single song by the time like the first tour stop was even a thing. Oh my God. But yeah, anyways, so I didn't get to see him then but I got to see my Coachella. But I missed um a concert six months from now. If you know, you know. That song is so fucking cute. Like, and like Optimus. Wait, what is it? Your favorite band is back on the road. Or this fall, they're playing the Hollywood Bowl. I've already purchased two seats to this show. Forgot how bad I wanted this. Anyways, yeah, it's like really cute. Like, it's kind of like, I don't even want to say what it's about. But anyways, I love that fucking song. Also, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Also, if I look a little bit different, obviously, yes, I got my hair done. Kim's literally on her way here right now to revamp it a little bit because I kind of ruined it after Coachella. It was beautiful. During Coachella, I'll, like, put a photo right here. Um, My hair was insane. And then I ruined it. Yeah. I left purple conditioner up on my like roots for too long and then the, the end was too light so then she like darkened it but now we're gonna like just try to get it back to like white again because that was insane i mean it's like it's dope right now but it's gonna be doper next time you see me but yeah so like my hair but also i got my lips done for the first time in two years i've literally just been dissolving my lips for two years mostly just like my upper lip i think we did some in the bottom but like my bottom lip i feel like even like with filler and like without filler it like kind of just like looks the same like my bottom lip loves filler but my top lip is like so non-existent that like when i put filler in it it just likes to go to my mustache area i know i've talked about this a million times so i'm back to just putting a little bit like half a syringe in at a time instead of like a full syringe so yeah i got just a little bit of filler and i love it i love it yeah, I went so overboard and I'm so happy. Like there's hardly any filler in my face, thank God. But I will just always dream of having ginormous lips and I know it's not a possibility for me. So I like like a little, just a little pout. I love it. Also last night, I'm gonna admit, <clears throat> I was watching my YouTube videos for two hours, pretty much until I went to bed. A little conceited, but like, it was just like, wow. I am one of my own favorite YouTubers, or I was when I posted. And so I'm gonna be posting a lot more. Oh, mm. I got some tattoos. The one on my hip is Ichigo Ichi, a Japanese script. And I've just loved this saying for literally like, what, four years now? And like, with me, it's really hard for you to like something for like longer than 30 seconds. So like if something like lasts longer than like two years, then that like is like a lot. I wanted to get this literally for like four years. Just didn't know like, I don't know, just like never felt right. And like this year I was just like, I want it so bad. So I got like one of those like temporary like tattoos that lasts like two weeks, you know, like the ink box ones. I got one of those and and I put it on me and I like sent it to my friends and sent a photo to my mom and like literally everyone loved it. And I didn't tell them like that it was fake. They were like, oh my God, you got a tattoo. Like, why didn't you tell us? Like we would have came, like whatever. And I was like, no, it's fake. And they're like, oh my God, but like you should get it. It's so cute. And like, I couldn't stop like, showing people i was like so obsessed so yeah i got ichigo Ichi in japanese on my hip and it directly translates to one time one encounter meaning to treasure every moment because it'll never happen again like this specific moment me right now that this is never gonna happen again you can try to recreate it like you can try to recreate your favorite moments but it's never going to be like it's like that one time that you're trying to like recreate let's say it's basically saying to just like live your best life in this present moment like not to dwell on the past and not to have anxiety about the future and that's something that i really need to work on hold on someone's calling me hello but yeah that's something that i really want to work on is just like being more present because i i am always panicking about the future recently at least i've been panicking about the future and dwelling on the past and i just miss myself when i was always just so presently happy just living life then like now you know so yeah i was like i like i feel like i need this tattoo now more than ever because i look at it and i'm like let me just like stop and breathe the fresh air you know make every single moment the greatest now so yeah i love it i could cry it's so cute i'm so happy that i got it and i think i'm always gonna be happy and i know i'm always gonna love it so yeah but then i was like oh my god like who do i go to like to get this and like are they gonna be able to like get me in and uh finally i found this guy i can link his instagram below zhang underscore tattoo on instagram really nice guy um doesn't speak a lot of english which was like you know good because he like when he was like doing it initially he was like printing out like templates kind of and i was like oh no can you like put them closer together and he's like well no everything has to be like evenly spaced out in like japanese script like 
Chinese script otherwise it like means something like totally different or it's just like supposed to be like everything spaced out perfectly but anyways we ended up figuring it out and I'm obsessed obsessed with it um I think I did ruin it a little bit because I didn't take that much care of it unfortunately so I am yeah, gonna get it retouched but I love it like I I love it so much and then I got a cherry blossom on my arm on the back of my arm I wanted like a little like tattoo kind of like Kylie has on like the back of her arm I've always thought that that was so cute but I was like I don't want to get a heart I mean like the heart was cute but I'm not just gonna like, copy her tattoo exactly and I've always wanted to get a cherry blossom so I was like what if I get a little dainty cherry blossom um it ended up being where is it hello can you see it it ended up being bigger than what I was like going for um but I didn't realize that until it was done <laughs> so I like looked back and I was like oh but um the guy was like oh no like it couldn't have been any smaller because like all the detail and I was like okay she's cute though like I love it I just <laughs> it's like annoying though because I can't really like see it that's why like I don't know. I guess it's not gonna bother me that much because it's like behind me, but. And I was like also thinking the other day, it's like kind of like the same size as Tana's um, clover that she has. So it's like kind of cute and matching in that sense. Mine's a cherry blossom and hers is a little clover. But yeah, I got two tattoos. Who am I? I had a birthday. I'm like 20 something. Yeah. I think my will to live is coming back. Kind of crazy. I know. I have a little cute baby girl right here. Oh, she's so cute and precious. Look at this girl. I think she's finally done growing and she's finally getting a full fluffiness. She looked a little awkward in my last video, but now she looks gorgeous. And she got a bath two days ago and she smells like a puppy. You're my puppy, huh? Will you be my puppy? Oh, thank you. Are you staring at my meatballs? You want one? I'll give you a meatball. Maybe one of these? Yummy. Okay, okay. Now, now. <laughs> See, the dogs weren't begging this whole time, so now they get their little meatballs. I feel like I need to stop talking because this clip is already way longer than I intended it to be, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Also, don't forget, if you wanna get the Ritual Vitamins 20% off your first month, link is in the description or use this code right here. And thank you Ritual for sponsoring this video. Let me know what kind of videos you guys wanna see next because I'm a YouTuber again, okay? <laughs> I needed some time off, but I'm a YouTuber again, finally. So yeah, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.